Attention all Mercedes-Benz Blue Tech cars and pickups. Let me say, let me show you when, not how, but when to regen your PDF filters for your diesel cars and pickup. I have this wonderful scanner tools called Boxwell NT510 Elite for Mercedes. I already use iCar soft MB1, MB, MB2, i980, and unfortunately, it did not provide the functionality I need. And finally, Foxwell is the one. So I have here my uh, Mercedes-Benz 2015 GLK 250 Blue Tech, Blue Tech, Blue Tech. So three things I need you need to watch in these tools in order for you to do your uh, DPF regen. The first is the total regenerations for diesel particulate filters. Uh, this will tell you the number of count of DPF regen. The second one is fail level of diesel particulate filter. This is actually the soot content in percentage. And finally, the ash content uh, in grams. So I'll show you where these three things be found in this scanner. Now from uh, main screen, select Mercedes, and then, then the type of car, and GM, this, this time is GLK, Blue Tech 254 Matic, select drive under control unit groups, and then motor electronics, then sele select live data, and then exhaust system, then check diesel particulate filter. Here, my total regeneration for diesel particulate filter count is 42. That's my for my car. And the fill level of DPF is 73.43 and ash content is zero, which is good. Now, after driving from Mississauga to Niagara Falls and back with an average speed of 120 to 130 kph at 2000 RPM. And here are the comparison before and after regeneration. So keep on monitoring your DPF and don't wait for your engine light to come up on your dashboard. Just like uh, I did today. It will save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars on the repair and the actual cost of DPF. If you see this nearly a hundred percent, start planning for regen. Go for a long drive on a freeway. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe on, to my channel. Thank you for watching.